Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I am here with Ian, and uh, we are going to minister to ten people. Uh, so most of these names came from um, uh, from the ministry that we do. So we post every day a video, and then people write their names in the comments, and then I'll just add it to the list. All right. So it's a big um, privilege for me to minister, and I say to the Lord. Uh, I will commit to minister to 10 people every day. Now, I don't actually minister to now, I only minister to five because I always get someone to help me. But um, yeah, that's fine because I, I was praying about it and then God said, get someone to help you. And so that's that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm always asking either Kimi or Ian or Amy if she's available. Uh, sometimes a little more, but um, you know, whoever can help me, I'll, I'm always happy to have them to come and help me. But uh, uh, we're ministering to 10 people every day. So if you'd also like to receive ministry in this format, you can write your name in the comments and you can see uh, it's usually three, four days um, that we uh, hopefully are ahead. Um, I, I don't like to get the names and then have to minister on that day and then it gets very close. So hopefully I, I have a little bit extra names to minister to. So the first person I want to minister to is Eartha. Okay? Eartha, uh, the Lord showed me keys that is releasing to you and the function of that keys is to unlock your future and to lock uh, unlock your blueprint uh, the the opportunities that god has for you and so keys are uh, instructions as revelations that he gives to you as even people around you uh, that brings technology into your life and that becomes a key and so i felt that there's going to be things it's going to be people and it's going to be instructions. All three of those areas is going to come into your life and they are going to unlock your future so that you can fulfill the blueprint. And the Lord is helping you to get out of the mud and out of that place where you're being stuck. Sometimes when people drive a car and they fall into mud, then they get stuck. And I felt that the Lord is helping you to get unstuck and He's giving you keys and people to help you in your life. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Dawn. Dawn, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a beautiful picture of you standing in the rain, worshipping the Lord, and He gives you a bucket. And He says, take this bucket. And you take the bucket, and now it's raining full. And you just throw it out of, uh, all over you. And I just see how the blessings of the Lord is raining upon you. But also, the Lord is giving you a vessel to get more blessings for your life. And that is attitude. The way you go about to do things. Meaning, when you go with a good attitude um, and you say, well, I've got this challenge, I'm going to take it on with a good attitude, uh, you get blessings in your life. When it's difficult circumstances, when a lot of things, when you go with a positive attitude, uh, especially towards God, just knowing that God blesses you and He loves you, uh, is going to bring tremendous change in your life, where God's going to, uh, he's, he's giving you a lot of blessings already, but He says, he wants you to experience it more and more and more. And I just see how that small change is going to bring a big difference in your life. Be blessed. Hey, Dawn, God bless you. Uh, Tonya, the Lord is showing me a hedge that He's placing around you. It's like a boundary. It's a very clear, this is uh, what's your responsibility. This is what's belonging to you. This is where I w want you to function. And then the hedge also shows you um, where not but also it keeps the enemy out, but it's also not ugly. It's nice and pretty green, so people don't feel too sad when you tell them, I'll do this, but I can't do that because you have that boundaries in your life. And I just felt that the Lord says, I'm giving you responsibility. And if you stay within the mandate that I'm giving to you, then I can bring more and more blessing and increase in your life. But when you get involved with all kinds of things, uh, in other people's lives that that's not on your mandate uh, then um, then you don't have to increase uh, because the blessing is there where the the edge and where the, uh, the the boundary is in your life and so I felt that the Lord is just helping you to to sort out things in your life so you don't do 10 things and you're busy with lots of things where you don't get anything accomplished but that you know this is what God wants me to do and I'm focused and I'm working on those things God bless you Okay, the next word is for Sidoni. Sidoni, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a... Normally on the circus, they, they've got this cannon where they shoot somebody out of the cannon. And it's a big show. And I see how you're in it and you're waiting to be launched. And you're waiting and you're waiting. 
and you're not sure what happens and you start to wonder um, why doesn't it just happen and I see that there's things is not yet in place if you're going to be launched now you're not going to have a safety net you're not going to have a, a nice comfortable landing and the Lord says this is where you at you need to trust the Lord that when he launches you everything will be in place the safety net will be in place the landing will be nice everything will be in place if you rush it it's not going to be very comfortable for you so yes the lord still wants to launch you and give you that breakthrough but you need to be patient and trust on the lord's timing and be quiet and listen to instructions if there's instruction you follow through on it but most of the time now it's going to be to wait on the lord for to listen to what he says and when he releases you be blessed hey uh, so Danny, uh, god bless you uh Elisma. Uh, the Lord uh, first showed me um, one of these uh, wrecking balls uh, that swings uh, and I hit buildings and I break down buildings. And then the Lord retires the wrecking ball uh, and then He takes that same weight and He launches it into the water and it falls into His water and then it makes ripples. But that ripples is the gospel, uh, is the message, it's the words of encouragement. Uh, it's even the prophetic word that comes out of your life and it influences and touches many, many people's lives around you. And where the enemy had a plan with you to use you as a tool of destruction, the Lord is using you uh, as uh, his daughter full of energy and life and to bring um, his um, encouragement uh, to build up to edify to touch many many people's lives all around you and i just see big 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 ripples flowing out of your life uh, and it's not only in one direction but it's all kinds of people all ages all walks of life uh, who are touched by you and experience the love that comes out of you and that purity uh, of god's presence god bless you Elisma. Okay, the next word is for Rieta. Rieta, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of two fishes. You've got two fishes and this is your provision for today. I see for tomorrow two fishes, the day after that one, and then the rest of the week, nothing. And you're concerned about the times that you have nothing. But I see how the Lord says, you've got two, you only need one. Give today for somebody else. Provide for somebody else. And then tomorrow as well. You've got enough for tomorrow give for somebody else you'll have enough and then i see when you come to the days where there were no provision i see there's already new provision because other people are doing the same when they have enough they supply to you as well i just see how the lord says you don't he, he wants you to break free from the mentality that you won't have enough for the future even though you have enough that you've got now and uh, you don't think you're going to have enough for the future and god just wants to help you to get that mental mentality right where you bless other people with what you have even though what you have is not a lot but god will also always supply for you that you have enough for yourself and always enough to give to others as well when you follow his instructions be blessed hey Rieta, god bless you we love and appreciate you uh, linda uh, the lord is showing to me how he's really giving you wisdom of god uh, there's a proverb in the bible that says that the wisdom of god makes rich and so the Lord is going to add a lot of wealth to you because of your wisdom. But also you are going to counsel and mentor and instruct and, and give advice to people around you in the area of finances. You're going to even sit with people and help them to work out the budget to see where they can cut, where they can uh, increase, how they can spend their money in a wiser way. Uh, and I just see that wisdom of God bubbling out of you, uh, but also that mothering pastoral heart that God has given to you. And so the Lord says, the wisdom that that wisdom of me that is on your life is not just for yourself. It's something that He has given to you, a gift that He's given to you that you can use to bless other people. And when you say to the Lord, Lord, I'm available, then you'll see how many people the Lord will send to you that you can mentor them and you can speak into their lives. And they will be so blessed and they will be increased uh, in their lives again uh, for which the Lord will award you again. So the Lord loves you very, very much, Linda. And I just see that mantle of wisdom. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Sunita. Sunita, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I see how wisdom comes with faith. Advice doesn't always come with peace. 
but wisdom will always have peace connected to it um, mm-hmm. for your life. And I just see how the Lord has called you to speak life into other people, especially children. How He says, I want you to speak life into them. I want you to give them wisdom, not just knowledge. I want you to give them wisdom because with the wisdom, they will have peace in their heart. They'll have peace in the future. They'll have peace in their homes and they'll have peace for whatever they need. But I just see, even though you give them a lot of knowledge, God says, I want you to give them wisdom as well. Where are you going to get wisdom? At the feet of Jesus. Where are you going to spend time with Him? And He's going to give you a lot of wisdom. So the more wisdom you need, the more time you're going to spend with Him. But it's going to be a lovely time. It's not going to be uh, based on religion. It's going to be based on a relationship with the Lord. Be blessed. Hey, Sunita, God bless you. Uh, Jeremy, uh, the Lord showed me how He's going to bring increase to you. Uh, and the decisions that you make in your life right now is very important. And you know, when before some people buy a property or they buy a business uh, or they get into something, it's important for them to do their due diligence to, to make a list uh, and check each one of the items on the list. And then once everything is checked and they know what they're getting into and what's the pros and the cons uh, of the decision that they're making, then they can make a wise decision. <clears throat> In the Bible it says there, uh, before you build a building, count the cost. And I felt that the Lord says that He wants you to just pause a little bit before you get into this next opportunity that God is going to give to you. He wants you first to do proper due diligence. And then I saw more opportunities open and some of them is good and some of them is just mediocre. And the Lord wants you to be in a good ones where you can do well. But you just have to, before you get into something, don't get emotionally excited too quickly. Rather first do your due diligence and don't get married to the opportunity. The Lord is going to send lots and lots and lots of open doors and opportunity to your life. You don't have to take each one. And I just felt that the Lord says to you, especially specifically where you're not right now, just take the time to listen, to observe, and to receive that wisdom of God also uh, before you make a decision. God bless you. Okay, the next word is for Runjini. Hopefully I pronounce it correctly, but the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. Okay, I'm seeing complex gears where they work together nicely. And you're so um, fascinated about these gears and how it works. And now you put your finger in it. And the Lord says, don't put your finger in it because it's not going to work. It's going to injure you. But I just see how you're so intrigued and you're not focused on what you are doing. You're focused on what is happening. And I see in your life how God gives you wisdom. He, he, you're so excited about what you're doing. Sometimes you burn your fingers. You are too quick. And the Lord says, just be patient. Stand a bit back and assess the whole situation. Be aware of what is going on. And then you will see some things that need to change. Some things where you need to be concerned about. Meaning you see a point where you're going to pray for and God is going to give you wisdom. So I just see not to have your face focused completely but rather just take a step back and be aware of what is going on that is going to help you to make good decisions and decisions that is influenced by the lord make your plans known to the lord and he will straighten your path be blessed hey runjini i also see uh a router and how uh, you are plugged into this router and how you get communication from the router and I felt the router is um, a, a church or a fellowship uh, and it's also uh, some teachers, people that teach you and although you are faithful to read Bible uh, and to pray uh, but the Lord wants you also to to be um, discipled by others in your life and that's what the Lord is going to do for you uh, to be able to grow and to mature in your walk with God. So God bless you family, it was wonderful for me and Jan to minister to you Uh, We hope that uh, you were encouraged. If you received the word, write your name in a comment and just say something or just uh, write there, thank you, Ian or Joseph. Uh, And then uh, if you also would like to receive ministry, you can also write your name and say, I would like to receive ministry and then I'll add you to the list. Um, It's wonderful for us to minister. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, 
please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.